Hey guys, welcome back to Frosty Gaming. So I just took a glorious idea and turned it into... Um, somebody had requested, since I'm doing these gaming builds and whatnot, this uh, build guides, and somebody had requested and said, dude, you should try to go as low as you can. And I was like, well, I was thinking, I had, my mind was kind of in the gutter. And so I went to my girlfriend's house and now I'm back. And, um, <laughs> joke, totally a joke. Um, anyways, I figured I'd do a sub $300 gaming uh, build guide for you guys. So let's just go ahead and get through this, um, through the parts and specs of this gaming build. And if you guys want to build it, all the links will be down in the description down below. And let's go ahead and get into the video. So first off for the CPU, we decided to go with the AMD A6 6400K. This is a dual core overclockable 3.9 gigahertz CPU that's running at 49 bucks right now. So pretty good deal on a CPU, even though it is the only, only a dual core. Um, however, there are i3s out there that are dual core. So I mean, with AMD, I'm sorry if I hit the mic there. Um, with AMD, it's the dual core. The AMD has better, better multi-core processing and Intel has better single core processing. So as far as performance goes, not gonna be the greatest performing CPU, obviously, because this is a $300 build. It's not a $2,000 build. So keep that in mind when you're ordering parts or if you wanna build a gaming PC. Uh, I have quite a few other videos out in this uh, playlist, and if you guys want to check those out, make sure you go ahead and do so. I'll, I'll even link a few at the end of this video. Anyways, going on to the motherboard, we chose the ASRock Pro 3 Plus. There's a bunch of other numbers in there that I didn't want to say, uh, but it's an FM2 Plus socket, 1600 megahertz max on the RAM, and it's an ATX board running at $57.99 right now, so really good price on a decent motherboard. Although I think AMD is up to like an M FM3 plus right now, or no, actually AM3 plus. Um, so they've definitely stepped it up a little bit since the release of these motherboards and CPUs. But if you want to build something cheap, like I said, you can go with this build. This is not including keyboard, mouse, peripherals, you know, monitor, uh, Windows key, stuff like that. So this is just the PC itself. Moving on to the RAM, we chose Kingston HyperX. Uh, this is the Fury Blue model. Four gigabytes of it, so it's only one stick, 1600 megahertz, and it's uh, one stick is only 1699. So if you have another 17 bucks lying around, get two sticks. Put two sticks in there, that way you'll have eight gigabytes. You'll be much better off in the long run, and you can upgrade. The, probably the best upgrade you can do to this, this system is overclocking the CPU and putting a bigger graphics card in it. That's probably the biggest upgrade and best upgrade that you can do is overclocking the CPU, which is pretty easy to do, and if you're familiar with it, and putting a bigger graphics card in here. So, um, yeah. So, for the HDD, the hard drive, we chose the Western Digital Caviar Blue. It's a 320 gigabyte hard drive. I didn't want to go with a one terabyte because it's like an extra 40 bucks on top of this one, 40 or 50 bucks. Uh, 3.5 inch drive, 7200 RPMs, running at 26 bucks just north of $26 for a 320 gigabyte hard drive. I'm thinking about getting a few of these and running them in a raid for my um, surveillance system uh, while I'm down in California, but uh, we'll see about that. Don't break into my place, you might get shot. So moving on to the GPU, we have a GeForce GTX 750 Ti. This is a two gigabyte model, Zotac brand. Plays most of the recent games at decent qualities, I would say medium to low. And you're at $94.99 right now. So $95 bucks for a 750 Ti. If I'm not sure, I didn't really look if this motherboard has two um, PCIe lot, or slots. So if you can run SLI, I doubt it's supported on these old motherboards. But um, you can try. You can go ahead and try. Um, not entirely sure on that though. But anyways, moving on to the second to last piece. It's the case. It's a Thermaltake VL8000... 80,001 W2Z. ATX mid tower starter. This is a very starter case. So obviously, like I said, this is a budget build. This is a very low budget starter case. Running at 22 bucks right now. So 22.99, 23 bucks. That's a, uh, it's a pretty cheap case. I, I would say my first case that I ever started out with, don't feel bad because the first case that I started out with was a Redbone U3, I think it was. I think the box is up there in the closet. Um, that was a little over a year ago, and then I built this custom PC, as you guys can see here. 
I built my new custom PC now, but the old build, I think the case was like 39 or 49 bucks. So, you know, in the future, if you want to upgrade like I did, make sure you go ahead and spend the extra money and go ahead and get yourself a nice case. But anyways, last but not least, we chose for the PSU is a Raid Max Cobra, 500 watt, 80 plus bronze, non-modular, running at $19.99. Now there's a stipulation on that $19.99 price. You have to catch it on sale. If it is not on sale, it is $49.99. Uh, it, it tosses between Amazon and Newegg, which, who has the sale? It's actually a pretty badass looking power supply. It has like a green fan, green accenting, black and green. It's pretty cool. Um, but, like I said, the sale tosses back and forth between Amazon and Newegg here and there. And right now on Newegg, at the time of this video, it is at, I'm going to put an Amazon link obviously, but if at the time of this video, it is at $19.99 with a $20 uh, discount or mail-in rebate or whatever you want to call it. And that is a really good price on a 500 watt PSU, especially 80 plus bronze certified. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you click the like and the comment. Put your uh, comments in the comment section down below. Click the like on the video. If you are new to the channel and you enjoy the content and you want to see more videos like this one, hit that subscribe button. I wouldn't mind having you guys around and put out more videos for you guys for you to enjoy. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Stay frosty.